everyone, welcome to Bowser Training Recode Solution. If you want the best mock interview experience in North America, feel free to check us out at bowsertraining.org. Moreover, feel free to subscribe to our WeChat blog right here. Uh, we're just here to help you. So here's our WeChat blog. Please subscribe. And also, feel free to subscribe to our um, video, uh, YouTube video. Okay. Um, so today we're going to talk about an easy problem called the palindrome number. Essentially, just like a palindrome string, how do we, we know how do we determine if the string is palindrome or not, right? You keep two pointers. So what happens with numbers? So do this without extra space. So if you click the spoilers, essentially you can think about uh, how do you reverse an integer, right? It's very easy when you have like like one, two, three, you can just revert it to three, two, one, then you compare if this two are the same or not. So but you, then you have to deal with overflow problems. So then how about we just do it the normal way. We still keep like two pointers and then we just keep shrinking down these two pointers. It's the same. Okay, so essentially what we do here is like this. So for this problem, and then also you need to be very sensitive with numbers. So whenever you talk about numbers, think about zero, negative, and a positive. So here it's like if this number is a, is a negative, I think the code will say it's a false. So just say it's a false. And if the number is actually zero, it's actually true. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have like while this is not equal to zero. So first you want to know um, you want to start from the beginning, right? So for example, if you have a a test case right here, like one one two one one. So you want to first divide it by the, you want to know how uh, what's the digit length, right? And then you can divide it, and then you can keep modding it. So essentially, when you have this, what you will have is a. Um, So you want to first divide it by this length minus one. Like this. And then what you want to do is Have the last digit or else X will be equals to Like this, so it minus the top one minus that, and then and then divide by ten. And now next time you, when you try to divide, you have to because you shrink the two digits, you have to um, make sure. For example, in that case, now we have one two one, so you want to divide it by by actually ten. So you sh essentially shrink down from from uh, uh, hundred. Uh, 10,000 to 10, right? So it was like this before, now you have like divided by 100, okay? And when it's all like this, it's not equal to zero, so we just return true. Calculate the length, what is the length of this integer? What we have is, um, So 
we already know x is not equal to zero. So if x is zero, the length is actually one. But here we know x is not zero, so we have it one, two, three. And then as long as it's not zero, it will be like this. So let's quickly test it out. So we have this, and then we have this. Messed up how? Messed up how? Possible loss. Okay, so how do I do this? True or false? True and false. Okay. Yep. That's it. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. See you next time. Bye.